Greetings, Earthlings, and welcome to my review of the Team Associated RC28. Uh, this is a 128th scale micro RC car. It's a two-wheel drive. It's pretty simple, but also a very nice, very good quality car. Uh, it has a couple problems, but overall I'd say I definitely give it a thumbs up. Now, let's, before we get into it, let's take a look at the outside. This body is a very nicely painted polycarbonate body. Speaking of the body and the wheels, this, this does look different from my old one, doesn't it? Um, the old one died due to the on-off switch being clogged up with dust. You can take it in some light dust, just don't take it in a whole bunch of gritty dust, or else the on-off switch will get clogged up, and then fall off. Not good. But, you know, this is really intended to be an indoor RC car anyway, so, yeah. <coughs> Sorry, I have a bit of a cold. Although, it would be nice if they would uh, try to protect the Switch a little bit more. But, you know, whatever. My new one I've got is this uh, Jammin' J. Halsey edition version of it. It's just a replica of Jay Halsey's RC car, RC-10, like from the 80s. They made a replica, which means it has a sponsor from a dead company because it's a replica of a car from the 80s. Hey, focus. Okay, it doesn't focus on clear things apparently. I see you, Novak sticker. I see you. Um, I guess that's about it for the body, so let's take a look underneath it. Um, this, this is the car. It's quite simple, really. It's got front suspension that just relies on the Suspension arms to bend a little bit. It has no shocks in there, but it works fine. Uh, this rear suspension is a solid rear axle. It's a two-link, and it does just have, like, spring shocks, but they get the job done. Um, the other only really noticeable feature on here underneath it is this charge port. That's the only really noteworthy thing. I'm going to turn on this flashlight thing on my phone. There we go. That's really the only other noteworthy thing is the charge port and yeah. Uh, it is proportional steering and throttle. It's a decent speed. Uh, it's not like the fastest thing in the world but it doesn't really need to be. Anyway, Speaking of charge ports and charging, you charge it with the transmitter. They did not include a USB charging unit. They do sell that, so it sort of feels like they're just trying to get you to spend more money there so that it doesn't eat up all your AA batteries. But, you know, overall, I'd say for the price, it's still a pretty good little package. <coughs> Even if it doesn't include the charger. Um, also, there are plenty of other, like, cheap Chinese brands out there, and a, a lot of them, their micro cars quit out. One of them, the only good thing I got out of it was this charger. Three have quit on me. Three. And the other, um, brand, uh, the other one, one of them I got some body clips from, so... I guess that was useful, a $50 pair of body clips and a wing. And the other one got a rally car body, so <coughs> I guess that's kind of useful too. I used that on my uh, SC28 short course truck when that one quit out. So yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. I 
I guess that's about, I think, everything to color, cover. I guess we could cover the controller a little more. It's, it's a compact little thing. It's quite comfortable. Um, yeah. I think that's about it. Anyway, I guess let's take it for a run. One thing to note is it is surprisingly, uh, stable for something with rear suspension that's only slightly better than a Tamiya Hornet and front suspension that is significantly worse. It's, or in, that should be significantly worse, I say. I say should because it actually seems to perform better on both ends than the Tamiya Hornet and Grasshopper do. Anyway, I guess let's take it for a spin. I'm just going to remove the ramp because I don't want to scratch up my body.
If you've made it this far in the video, congratulations. As a reward, you get to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.